Okay. Now, as the title says, this is quite important topic and quite serious topic. Uh, now, I choose to show you this in a separate video. Um, so, you can avoid this and uh, don't make the same mistake that I did. So, uh, now I'm going to play a clip. Uh, this was a few days ago when I'm fil filming this actually. And um, I was rough turning around 20 balls. I had a couple of hours in the shop. Um, so I was in a bit of a hurry. So I rough turned around 20 balls, platters. And this piece was uh, one of the last one. And um, now I'm going to play the clip. I'm going to do a full version and then the slow down uh, version. And uh, then I'll uh, bring you back here and explain what happened. And... Uh, uh, how to avoid it, so. So, uh, scary, right? Um, yeah, so this is that piece. So, as you can see, nice clean break here. This is all fuzzy. And um, now, just before I continue on, I wasn't hurt. Everything is okay. The speed wasn't um, extremely uh, high. So, it was around seven, six or 700 RPM. So the piece uh, that flew off, this piece, um, was on a downward uh, trajectory, and um, if it was the higher than uh, 1000 RPM, it would probably go somewhere up, and that is when you get hit in the face, and uh, not pleasant. Uh, so, what happened? So, this piece, uh, this is ash, by the way. Uh, there was a ball, a larger one, which I actually discarded as well. And uh, it wasn't all that noticeable uh, when this was all piece and uh, it was much tighter than this now. But uh, my mistake is, I usually always do this, I take a thin sliver at the end and bend it. And uh, then that way you can see if there are any cracks, splits and uh, stuff like that. Uh, in this case, I was looking at the end grain i didn't see anything and um, now i was in a hurry so take that as a note as well um, uh, i didn't see any split and I just continue on i round it over and uh, it was put aside to be mounted on the lathe and uh, the rest <laughs> you saw what happened so um, the point is check your wood for splits now these splits cracks can be quite dangerous as you saw um now if you have balls like this this is a uh, plum uh as you can see this has uh, cracked severely now some of you might be tempted to fill these and turn it and uh, just advise you don't uh, don't do it it's not worth the risk uh, here is another example same wood um, pretty much all the now i have around 500 uh, roughed out uh, bowls and platters plates and everything um, pretty much only plum uh, likes to crack uh, severely like this and you can see there is a split big at the bottom doesn't look all that bad from the inside but when you flip it around it's terrible 
and uh, like I said you might be tempted to put this on the lathe but just the force of spinning it around uh, can uh, take this apart and uh, hit you in the face or god forbid anything worse that can happen so check your wood take, uh, take uh, thin slivers of the end before you round it over before you take the final uh, measurements and uh, diameter take the thin sliver off uh, better to take uh, two three mil off the end and check if there are any cracks if you're not sure than to have a bigger piece like this like i did here and um, risk uh, this kind of thing to happen and um, the only other thing is uh, good that i was alone in the shop uh, sometimes uh, my son can uh, burst in here the older one um and uh you know you, you never know what can happen so take care of that and um now just to to be uh on the same page this is the first time that this has ever happened to me now i usually take quite a good care of not taking the cracked piece of wood like this um on the lathe so that's the and that that is why this is the first time that something like this exploded on me so i've been turning spindles for close to 17 years and turning balls for rough, roughly four to five years and this is the first time that i had a bl big blowout like this and uh, again like you can see this was if i would maybe just put a little bit more force this would break uh, before the lead but i didn't and uh, as you can see this was held together by by dust and uh, so uh, I'm going to play the clip one more time uh, so please uh, watch out take care of the wood you're putting on the on the lathe do not grab any piece of wood uh, like firewood uh, any uh, with a ton of splits in it you never know which one is um, the most uh, detrimental one and uh, the most fatal one and uh, just be safe and put the clean piece of timber on for instance like this piece of ash this will be a pot i'll do do, do this now and uh, this is clear of uh, any cracks uh, at this stage even and um, so i took the thin slivers off bend it uh, everything was nice and solid and then i uh, decided to cut off the corners i didn't even bother to uh, make uh, make it round uh just clip the corners and uh, it will be much faster so hopefully you learn something from this video and uh, like i said i wanted to um, include this in my uh, portfolio of uh, videos to to help you avoid something this happen to you so stay safe